Hi, I'm G. Craig Lewis. And first, I just want to wish you a happy new year. Uh, to all of our followers, to all of our subscribers, uh, to all those that inbox me, to all those that email, to all those that have been following, some of you for many, many years, some of you up to 20 years, you've been following this ministry. So I just want to say happy new year to you. Uh, happy 2022. Um, I just believe God is going to really show himself mighty this year. I believe we're going to see signs and wonders from the Lord that we've never seen. Uh, he's going to stand up for us on our behalf this year. So in preparation for that, I just want to let you know, I know you used to logging on on Sunday morning and seeing a new sermon. Uh, it'll be a few weeks before uh, I'll be back with a new sermon because I'm taking some personal time to just really rest. Um, if you go back, I went back uh, the other day and just kind of looked at all of the sermons and different things that I've done since the pandemic started for the last almost three years. Um, well, since 20, the beginning of 2020, uh, it was a message almost every week. Some weeks there was two, three, um, and then we were doing just all kinds of things to just try to keep people uh, encouraged and strengthened and motivated to serve God and to, you know, just uh, forgive. And, you know, I just believe the most important message that any preacher can preach is the message of the cross, the message of forgiveness, the message of reconciliation, the message of really, really uh, laying down your life for another person. And so we've done that and it, I've been doing it for a while now and man, I'm tired. Uh, I'm not tired of preaching or I'm not tired of y'all, but I'm just tired physically. And so I need to take some time to just recharge and be refueled. And I'm, I'm just uh, talking to some very close minister friends of mine that are just, just encouraging me and um, feeding me so I can take some time to be fed so that I can prepare for what's in store for this year. Um, I just believe that uh, God has called EX Ministries and Adam and Believers Council for this time, for a time such as this. And so we will continue to uh, bring the gospel to you, the truth to you in the way that it always has been. Uh, but I need a break. So I'm going to take this break. I wanted to come on and tell you this because I didn't want you to think that YouTube had blocked me or something like that because I know that it's happened before. But it's just a break uh, for me personally so continue to pray and continue to support the ministry i know you will and a lot of people say they'll pray for you but i'm asking you now please pray for me pray for my family and uh help us to stand in this last hour y'all it's getting tougher and tougher to do the work of the lord because i'm telling you they've turned up the witchcraft they've turned up the satanism they've turned up the immorality and all the other things to try to attack uh uh, preachers and men of God and people that are standing, people that are saved, people that believe. Y'all, they are trying to just erase us off the face of the earth right now. And the saddest part is that a lot of Christians who have unforgiveness and hurt and different things in them, they end up on that side. So we got to really pray and trust God in this hour because I do believe he's going to show himself mighty in 2022. So continue to pray for us. Uh, I'll continue to pray for you. Continue to support and go back and look at some of the older sermons. There's a lot of good stuff there. Uh, and, or go back uh, to our podcast. Um, our um, uh, True Church Perspective. You can find that on uh, Google Play or uh, uh, iTunes and other places. But you can get sermons there. And we've done just so much work that there's a lot you can go and, and get. Uh, and then in a few weeks, I'll be back. So continue to pray. Thank God for you. God bless you and keep you.